Uh, hey YouTube, this is Luke again. I'm going to do a tutorial how to set up the EasyCap Capture Card on your Xbox. It's pretty simple, okay? Um, I'm going to do it without splitters, first of all, because I haven't got any splitters, because I'm poor. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> okay, so uh, first step, EasyCap Capture Card, okay? You need it. It's got yellow, red, and white. Yellow is video, white, and red are sound, I believe. Okay, um... First of all, you need to have one of these cables. I'll get um, out my TV. Get your that tangles. Sorry, guys. Okay. First of all, you need to have a cable like this if you're not going to use splitters. Um, it has two uh, blah blah blahs. Yeah, you know, it's like that. It has the HD high quality whatever of uh, green, blue, and red, and it also has the non-HD white red and yellow, sorry I'm a bit stupid, okay. Um, get the white, red and yellow, okay, and plug them in to your easy cap card card. That should be easily done if you're not special like me. Oh my god, what am I doing? This is taking its time, okay. Okay, once it's all plugged in, it looks, should look something like that, okay. It's all plugged in, nice and special. There's the easy cap card card. This will be plugged into your laptop or your computer whenever you want to because that's what you need to do. Okay, you get this, the cable, where's it gone? It's behind me. Okay. Get this and change it to TV, okay? Mine's already set to TV. Don't know if you can see that. Uh, it's really crappy quality. Well, top says TV, the bottom says HD TV. You flick that switch, right there, to TV. Right there, okay? TV, you know, you plug this into the back of the Xbox where it should be. A sec. Plug that into the back of your Xbox and get this cable. Then we just set up with the nice that, okay? Get these, and if you have a, a good TV, you should have components then in the back. Plug the components then, matching up the colours as you normally would do with any other TV. Okay. Um, one step mentioned here. Um, because I've got the red and white here, and not in the back of my TV, I won't get any sound from my Xbox. Um, this might be a problem for some gamers, or whatever you're trying to do. To be honest, if you really wanted sound that much, I suggest buying some splitters, and then getting an extra cable, which looks something like this. has two ends to it, it's a big long cable, has red, white, yellow, red, white, yellow, you stick them together. You need uh, two female Y splitters. I, I haven't got any, I don't know where to buy them from. Other people said Radio Shack, but that's in America and I can't be asked to wait two weeks to get it. Okay, um, so yeah, Easy Cap should look like that with the USB and the S video. No one needs S video, just hide that. Uh, and your TV, wait, if I can get a close shot of this, um, should look something. Oh my god, this is terrible. Should look something like that in the back. See, it's plugged in. Okay. Um, well, okay. okay. Once it's plugged in, uh, it's really quite easy from there. Uh, you turn on your Xbox, uh, turn on your TV, TV's already on, on. oopsie. Um, get your Xbox controller, this thing, um, and then once you're on the Xbox, which is going to take some time to load up, la la la. Mm -hmm. Okay, another thing I just want to mention while my laptop, uh, my Xbox is loading up, that my Easy Cap Capture Card is PAL 50, which is crap. Um, I'll show you later on in the tutorial how to record on a PAL 50, PAL 60 games. Okay, it will be black and white, but you got to deal with it. It's life. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Now the Xbox is up. I'll show you the Xbox. Hopefully, it won't mock up the whole camera. Uh, yes, there's the Xbox. No, it is going to do that, isn't it? Okay. Okay, it's not. Okay, there you go. Um, when you get that, get your Xbox controller, this thing. Okay, and then go over. One sec, I've got to do this with one hand. Okay, go to my Xbox, go over to d uh, System Settings. Okay, the last one. Click on System Settings. Wow, this is really annoying. My controller isn't working, okay. Click console settings at the top, that thing. Okay, click on it. Click on display. Go down to power settings. And change it to 
50, the bottom one. See? Wait, where is it? Power 50. Okay. Um, okay, this is pretty simple. Now it's on Power 50. It will record in black and white the capture cards. If you don't have a D60 Plus, but because um, I've got D60, I have to pay Power 50 for it to be color. Um, Power D60 is terrible. Um, don't get it. Yeah, so um, once it's Power 50, you can see that um, later on when I show you the extra extra stuff, um, it will be in color when I record it, but it's not very good because I can't play any Call of Duty games. I can play Halo 3. Oh, no, I can't play Halo 3. I can play Halo 2. But I can play Gears of War 2. Okay, it's a Power 50 game. It's great. I'll show you exactly what I mean. Okay, open my Xbox tray, put in Gears of War 2. Take out Halo, put in Gears 2. And it should work now. Okay, let's just get this um, here. I'll add a capture card clip later on after I edit this video because obviously it's going to do that. Okay, so I'm just playing the game. What's it doing? One sec. It's loading, making a lot of noise. Oh, I have to update. Well, th there's the proof. Okay, it's in Power 50 and it's also in color. I'll show you the video later on. Okay, well, that's the first part of the tutorial. It's Power 50. I'll show you how to record in Power uh, Power 50 and get black and white in a second. Thanks for watching tutorial one.